Wait, what's going on YouTube is one hand one hand because the other one's up there somewhere um, Holding you guys. It's Donnie B all day. I'm gonna do a little blade play um, in a little while uh, Well, it's not gonna be a little while for you because I'm just gonna hit like pause um, but I'm going to break out the Mondo cleaver because I have some broccoli that needs cutting and I figured Let's test this guy out so this, of course, sent to me from Arizona Bladesman. Um, just awesome, man. What a cool gift. Um, I can't wait to... Oh, just gosh, even the, the, the weight in such a big piece is just really good. Um, but I can't wait to play with this. It's going to be fun. But what I really, really want it for and, and, and I have to be anticipating that it's going to be great for is cutting up vegetables and being able to scoop them up on that big flat plate of a blade. Um, super, super convenient, right? So uh, we're going to be doing this. Now, the reason I'm doing a beginning my video like this is because I just talked to Raymond Chalinski, who everyone knows is our famous author. Um, and, uh, and he is in the hospital right now fighting an infection so he is away. He has a giveaway coming up that he's supposed to be announcing. And uh, he wants you guys to know that he didn't forget about you. Um, the giveaway is still happening. It's still on. Uh, it's not COVID or anything like that. It's just he's got an infection. He's getting it cleared up. Um, it's the Nutty Knife guy. If you guys don't remember who Ray Minchelinski is. Unless I already said the Nutty Knife guy, then now you know. Um, but uh, yeah, he's going to be A-OK -okay pretty soon. He's going to be out of the hospital back in the saddle, getting it done. So I just wanted to give you guys that heads up on him. Also, um, Jed Hornbeak. Um, we are, we are doing good, man. We're doing good. Um, if you guys haven't seen, um, my video where I, uh, I add the link to the GoFundMe page and I'll, I'll try and add it down here again. Um, please go to that, help out. This is, this is huge. And, if you can, if you have a Facebook, even a, let's say you can't donate or, or this and that, you got something going on, um, don't be afraid to share it. That's free. Sharing it is free. Um, so let's let's help a brother of the blade out. You know, um, this guy is as well deserving as a person as you will ever meet. Um, so um, so let's help this guy out. Until then, we are going to get to that blade. All right, hold on. Ooh, all right, boys and girls and girls and boys, are we ready? So now I want to give you the specs on this um, as far as what it's made of and all that. I don't know. Hold on. Let me get the box. All right. So this is the box that came in. Um, I have no idea what this says. So if you can read it, then you'll know what this knife is. If you can't read it, you will have no freaking clue. Um, I don't even know if it goes that way. It might go this way. Nope, I think it goes this way. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. Right there. So, if you can read that... I know it's weird. I know that. But I believe this is how it goes. If you can read this, then you are going to know exactly what this says. Okay, so... Um, also, you don't really have to be able to read this. Um, <clears throat> good to know. Uh, the person who bought this was Arizona Bladesman. If you go to Arizona Bladesman's channel and you say, bro, that giant cleaver you sent D-Bad, what is it? What's it made of? How do I get one? He's going to be the guy that's going to be able to tell you all about this thing, where to get and, and how to get. Um, now, how it's made, I'm not 100% sure. What I do know is that obviously this is a blade and you have at least some kind of uh stick in here i don't think it's a uh i don't know if it's a, a it can't be like a, a rat tail it's got to be like a stick tang and it probably only goes to around here as far as where the where the thing meets but i am not using this for hardcore stuff i'm not going to go out there and chop trees with it could it it might actually be able to but i have a single purpose for this and that's going to be in here in the kitchen so today boop we are going to use that single purpose. We're gonna cut some broccoli. We're gonna cut up some meats, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them. So, I say we get started with this guy. Hold on. 
All right, so I can't get started without the right cutting board. And of course, a DJ Billy B all day um, from uh, ma uh, vinyl, like a record vinyl massacre, capital M-A-S-S -S, and then acre, all one word, vinyl massacre. That's my, my brother, my real brother, my actual blood brother. Um, DJ Billy B all day sent me my cutting board. So we're gonna cut with it. Well, on it anyway. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out a bunch of broccoli. Uh, if y'all don't know about broccoli, ask Adam Sandler. That dude knows about broccoli. There we go. Everything's out. We're good. Let's see how this guy performs. Oh, admirably. Admirably in the bro oh my gosh. Through the hard broccoli stock, this thing is cutting with ease with ease now I'm gonna show you why something like this is really really good to have once we get everything everything cut up the way we want it um, right now I'm gonna put some of these florets to the side I'm gonna have to wash this one down end up with some cat fur on the floor all right so we're going to take these big stocky pieces and we're just going to um, just give them some nice smaller, it goes right through. There's no pieces hanging on there. Everything I just did, it went straight through. Having a, um, a round knife is really good for cutting in the kitchen. It is really, really good. So this, as you can see, is just perfect. It is exactly what I was looking for in recent days because I needed a kitchen cleaver for stuff like this. And this thing, I mean, what a blessing to come at this time. Perfect timing, Arizona Bladesman. Um, so we have all those little pieces. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut away the florets from all these guys right here. And now they will separate themselves just like that. Look at this blade is just born for this. I bet they sell it as one thing, but it was probably made to do this. It was probably made as a kitchen cleaver. And who knows, maybe it was sold as a kitchen cleaver. If you want to find out, go to Arizona Bladesman's channel, ask him. All right, so that's good. We're getting these all down to size. And these are going to be Wonderful, wonderful. And I'll show you the main reason for having something like this. You can hear Shelly singing in the background, coming down the stairs. <laughs> she's like, she's like the LA Music Awards coming down the street. I come down the stairs, coming down the street. All right, let's get this one cut up. Perfect, this one cut up. I'll give it one more, separate the florets. Perfect. Let's keep going on these. These are some good stocks, man. This is all fresh broccoli. And uh, this thing is just making very, very light work of it. And if you, you know, if you cut broccoli, if you do any kind of cooking, you know that these stems could be a pain in the nuggets to be cutting up sometimes. So you want a good blade and uh, this thing is doing the job. So now what I need to do is get myself a little pot. A little pot, which I totally thought of freehand. Not. I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna, this is where the magic of this blade comes in. Look at how much stuff I can lift with this blade. Having a butcher's knife is good because you can lift some, but not as much as this. This is exact. I was just saying how I needed one for the kitchen. And lo and behold, man, here comes the mailman with this beautiful cut and scoop right here. And I am able to get all of it, all of it up and in. So you're thinking, wow, great. You got a broccoli knife. Okay, but it's got to do more broccoli, right? It's got to do more broccoli. Let's check out some of this pepperoni. Let's check out some of this pepperoni right here. 
So let's uh, let's just. There's no single amount that I need. I'm just gonna grab some some pepperonis, some big flat cut pepperonis. And if you've ever if you cut meat, you know that meat can be a bitch to cut because it sticks together and it's kind of a pain in the nuggets. Well, not right now, not right now. And this isn't a Ginsu, man. This is. This is not a Ginsu, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to break them all up, and now I have a bunch of pepperoni pieces in there. That's going to be really nice. And now we go from pepperoni to, I don't even know what the hell I bought here, some kind of salami. <laughs> it's meat. That's all I know is meat. So now we're going to take some salami, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take a bunch of pieces. They're all stuck together. And I'm just going to cut away in half and then in thirds. And what that does is it gives me a whole bunch of pieces. And so basically, this isn't going to be a cooking video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to boil all this up, um, all the broccoli up. The All the meat is not going to get boiled up. It's going to be saved for the frying pan. I don't know why I put it in that pot. Smart! Um... And then I'm going, going to throw in some, well, I'm going to put it in butter. I'm going to put it in a frying pan with butter. I'm going to cook up my broccoli, right? So it's going to go boiled to frying pan with butter. And I will add the meats. I'm going to add my seasoning, and I'm going to add some minced garlic. And that's going to go great with whatever meat I decide to cook tonight, which will most likely be whatever I want because it's whatever I want. So, um, man, I'm trying to think of what else I can, what I, I really want this as a kitchen knife and I don't want to go out and ruin it. So I might just have to leave you guys with believing me. This thing's awesome. Hold on. All right. Why not add a little something to the pot? So let's, uh, take off the end of this, this pepper. All right. So now once you take off the end, you can just pull out the center with the seeds and it's good to go. Boom. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the little nip at the end. And now we are going to just cut our peppers. And I'll be able to throw the peppers in with the broccoli. So that'll boil up really nice. And one more for the heck of it. And look at that. We have finely cut um, peppers that I can just scoop up. All on one thing in one place and drop them in the pot. Guys, it doesn't get any better than this. If you're looking for a good kitchen cleaver, and this is the kind of cleaver, I'll tell you, man, you don't want to get hit in the backside either with that curl there. Um, this is the kind of cleaver that if you have around your house during a break-in, holy mackerel, you're not going to need much else to defend yourself with this thing. What? It's good for self-defense, Scab? Yes, yes it is, my friend. So, um... <clears throat> So yeah, I'm not going to say much more about it because it's pretty self-explanatory. All I know is that it's really cool. It's got that dragon head on like a leopard body, which I think is pretty unique. Um, it's very Japanese in the art, but it looks like it's Chinese in the... Uh, this might be Japanese. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. But it's Asian. I can tell you that. And it's cool, man. So... I mean, this is this video was done mainly as like a thank you to Arizona Bladesman. Um, I really wanted him to see that, yes, this thing's definitely going to have a purpose with me. Um, this is the drawer. <laughs> I don't even know my own kitchen. That it's going to go in. And speaking of the drawer that it's going to go in, I told you guys that I have the Rough Rider in there as a kitchen knife. Right? That's a good, like, chicken having knife. Not chicken having to have, but to have a chicken, to have, H-A-L-F. Um, it's really good, and I still use this from Cowboy Seabop, my fillet knife from Elk Ridge. Um, so, I have knives in here that were given to me, and I use, and I love, and this one is going 100% into that rotation. I'm going to be chopping up all my vegetables and stuff with this guy right here, just having the ability to scoop it makes such a huge difference in the kitchen and, and you don't realize it until you have one. Um, but if you want to know more about it and you want to know how to get one, go to Arizona Bladesman and all you got to do is ask. The guy is really cool. So that's it for this one. I'm going to go cook some food and 
and have some good times. I am Donnie B. All Day. Until next video.